Hello, and welcome back for another day of Spark and AI Summit. We have another great lineup for you today. But before we dive in, I want to start by announcing our Data Teams Unite Hackathon winners. We launched this hackathon back in May to see what kind of solutions data teams could come up with to help address issues around COVID-19 crisis, climate change, and social issues in their communities. We received over 50 submissions, but three in particular bubbled up to the top as the winners of this hackathon. I'll start with our third place winner. In third place, congratulations to the data team from Booz Allen Hamilton, who focused on climate resiliency for the Chesapeake Bay. As a price, Databricks will donate $5,000 to the Alliance of Chesapeake Bay on their behalf. The team combined data from nitrogen in the water, climate data, and land use data to build a model that could predict nitrogen concentrations in the bay based on historical conditions. Congratulations again to the data team from Booz Allen Hamilton. Now for our second place winners. A big congratulations to the data team from Shell and Enbridge, who built a wildfire real-time detection system using satellite imagery. As a prize, Databricks will donate $10,000 to the Amazon Conservation Association on their behalf. This team trained the UNET based on a Conv neural network using MLflow. Given a satellite image, it predicts the mask of the burned area of an image of a forest and estimates the total CO2 emissions. So great job and congratulations again to the data team from Shell and Enbridge. And last but not least, our grand prize winner for the Data Teams Unite Hackathon is the data team from RevGen in Denver, Colorado, who led a project called Taking It to the Streets. As a grand prize winner, Databricks will donate $20,000 on their behalf to an organization called The Gathering Place, which is a Denver-based drop-in center serving impoverished or homeless women, transgender individuals, and their children. For their project, this team focused on the COVID crisis. They wanted to help businesses expand into the roads, increasing capacity while also keeping customers safe. So they used data science to determine on a street-by-street -street level the economic costs and benefits of street closures. They found that restaurants benefited the most of all types of businesses when streets were closed. They used Python, SQL, R on Delta Lake to take advantage of the team's diverse skill set, and they've already begun conversations with the city of Denver officials about the analysis. Congratulations again to the RevGen team.